One of the most eminent, influential doctors, physicians in the history of medicine is Rudolf Virchow. Rudolf Virchow was a German physician. He's considered the father of modern pathology. He coined um, terms like leukemia. He did so much work and so much great stuff uh, for, for, for medicine and for physicians. But he said medicine is a social science. It's a science of human beings. And therefore, doctors really need to think around the externalities of what affects individual people's health. You know, disease is rarely biological. It's often social. And of course, with ultra-processed food now, which dominates the food environment, this is a real social problem, um, affecting people very adversely. But one of the things Virchow also said is knowledge that is unable to be supported by action is not genuine. And bridging the gap between research and the real world means that you have to advocate for your position as well. We know from history whether, you know, it w let me give you one example, big tobacco. It took 50 years between the first links between smoking and lung cancer before any effective regulation was introduced to curb tobacco consumption. And the reason it took 50 years from the first science linking smoking and, and lung cancer to emerge before any effective regulation is because big tobacco adopted a, what I call a corporate playbook of dirty tricks of denial, planting doubt, confusing the public, and even buying the loyalty of scientists. So one of the messages I would say tomorrow when I give my talk and for people watching this is the science alone is not sufficient. Opposition from vested interests need to be overcome. And those two enemies that I call the enemies of democracy right now are big food and bad pharma.